Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see the second part of BI editor. In last session, we have just saw how to create a file, how to insert a text in the file, how to save the file. So these are the basic things we have seen. So let's see more interesting stuff about BI editor control commands in vi editor so you can use the control commands like control d to move forward half screen control f for move forward one full screen control u move backward half screen control b move backward one full screen control e move the screen up one line control y move the screen down one line control u as I mentioned, it's a uh, move the screen up half uh, half page, and these are the things actually. Control I also redraw the screen, etc. So these are the control commands we can use. So let me show you. We are in the home directory of the MDM user. We'll go to the pictures directory, and we have here a couple of files. So let's open. Unix util.txt file using vi editor and we have few lines here now uh, if you use control u it will move to the first line if you use control f if go to the last line the lines are not completely removed so it, so vi editor is if you notice it is in the command mode so in the command mode only you can use this command let me skip this so if you use Q and exclamatory mark so warnings will be this uh, re, uh, removed or it will not be shown if you use ex exclamatory mark Q is to quit so that is what we have done so let me do ls minus ltr so we have the vi test so we'll use vi test and here are some files let's try out some other commands also like let's try with control d and control e we'll see what will happen i'm using control d now so okay it's not in focus let me do control d now again so if you see the control d it is moving the half screen if you use control e it is going one line below so this is the way actually you can just move to across the screen using control commands how to edit file in vi editor so we saw a couple of things in the last session how to edit using i command so there are other commands also available the small i it insert the text before the current cursor location the capital i insert text at beginning beginning of current line small a insert text up to the current cursor location capital a insert text at the end of current line small o create a new line for text entry before cursor location capital o create a new line for text entry after the cursor location so let's try this in demo so what I'll do, let's try to use control A. So let's start with a small i. If you use i, it will start in insert mode. You can see at the bottom it is insert mode. And it will insert text whenever you click that, whenever you press that i. Suppose I give press i key and let's end this. Now let's use the capital I. So you have to just use capital I. Let me go in the command mode. You have to use capital I and it will go at the start of the your command uh, start of the line. So here you can use pressed So this is the way we use the i and small i and capital i. Small i 
is if you use press here again small i it will be available to insert here for example if i use command mode use the small i and you can immediately type it there but if you use capital i it will go to the start so that is the difference between small i and capital i now let's use the small a if you in the command mode and use the small a it will go to the next uh, it will go to the it will create one line before if you use capital a you have to be in command mode so it will remove or rather it will create a new line so what the small i and capital i it says small a insert takes after the current cursor location capital a insert takes at the end of current line so let me do one thing let me quit it and let's try one more time so small a insert at the end of current line sorry uh, small a it is insert takes after the current cursor location okay so my current current uh, current cursor location suppose at uh, i let me insert a so we can insert text here so that is the meaning suppose let me escape and use capital a it will go to the end and we can type there so that is the use of small a and capital a then the o so let me show you one more thing let me type some some content here and i will go to the end using capital a so capital a you have to be execute in a command mode so if you use small o you have to be in command mode small o it will insert a new line after your cursor is present the location where the cursor is present let me go again and now let me go to the end using control a i'm at the end now this time i will go to the command prompt uh, command mode using escape button now i'm in the command mode now i will use the capital a. when you use capital o it create a new line before that line where the cursor was present so this is the using these are the usage of this various edit commands in a file how to delete character in vi editor most commands in vi can be prefaced by the number of times want to action to occur for example the, we have the command called as x which deletes the character under the cursor location if you use 2x it will delete the two characters so let's try that out so suppose i go to this one and you have to be in command mode and let's use x it will delete the one character now we are still in the command mode so let's try 2x 2x i get two x's and two characters are removed let's do here also i'm at the a and let's try 2x 2x so it will be deleted the current highlighted character and the next highlighted characters so this is the way we can delete the characters using x so this this kind of commands like we have the capital x so you can attach the numbers behind prefix the numbers so that those many characters will be deleted C capital x delete the character before the cursor location small x delete the character after the location or on that location so let's go here suppose my cursor is at i and okay there is one more let me show you here so my cursor is at letter i and we are going to use capital x so if i use capital x it delete the previous character now suppose let me go to the t and let's use three times t three times x capital x so it will delete previous three characters where the cursor is present so this is the use of the small x and capital x dw deletes from the current cursor location to the next word 
so it is actually going to delete the word for example my current cursor location is at file f word in the file so let's use dw so it completely removes that word till the start of the next word so if you want to use if you want to remove just word you can use the dw then we have the d and the special character which it deletes from current cursor position to the beginning of the line so if you want to see that suppose my cursor at t okay and let's do the d and the special character and it removes from the beginning till the that character where the cursor is present so this is the use of the d and special character d dollar deletes from the current cursor position to the end of the line for example if i my current cur current cur cursor location is at the t and we'll use the d dollar small d and dollar sign so it removes that complete line because it consider that current cursor location also capital d deletes from the current position to the end of current line so let me do one thing let's go to this the next line and here we'll use the capital d so it, it is the same line like if you want to delete the complete line just the well usage you can go to the first cursor and you know, first character on the cursor and it will delete that d d deletes the line cursor on it so two times d suppose here we have the line if you use two times d it will delete the line it's very simple just two times d in small case so delete the line so these are the ways you're using which you can delete the characters words and the lens change commands in vi editor used to change characters words or lines in vi without deleting them so no need to delete just change them cc command removes the content of the line leaving you insert mode so let's try out that for doing demo on that let me let me create this file so that i'm not going to say that so that my previous file is present so if we do let's go to the line second and do this two times cc I'm in the command mode. I did two times CC, and if you notice, it is in insert mode. So we can remove that whole line and insert any word. Welcome here. That's very simple. Then we have the CW. Change the word the cursor is on from the cursor to the lowercase W end of the word. So let's try here and cw so you can see we can let me remove this words cw so you can see the complete word is gone and you can change the word so that is the use of the cw r replace the characters under the cursor we are returned to the command mode after the replacement is entered for example currently i'm in the assume i'm in the command mode and use the r so if you notice the comma even the word the character has replaced instead of d we can see the r but at bottom you can see there is no insert mode so insert mode is not uh retry it will keep it's a command mode R O capital R override the multiple characters beginning with the character current under the cursor. We must use escape to stop the overriding. So because otherwise it will be overriding all the characters. Small s replace the current character with characters which we type. Afterwards, you can left in the insert mode. So let's try this. So what we'll do? Suppose we are at the W character and use the small. So it will remove, and if you see the insert mode is become on. You can type anything and escape again. The capital S deletes the line the cursor is on and replaces it with the new text. 
after the new text is entered we are remains in the insert mode so that is the usage of the capital s for example if i use capital s whole line goes you can type any new line and say it will be in insert mode that is the meaning of capital s so these are the few commands about the vi editor i hope this tutorial is going to help you to edit files very efficient manner and very fast way if you have any questions or queries about unix or vi editor or any other technology do not do not forget to mention in the comment section of video and thank you for watching with this video your views your comments really motivates me to create more such video thank you again and have a nice time